Jin Po Shin, and also those two speakers for the inspiring talks. So let's move on to the second sessions. Uh, may I introduce Dr. Chiap Suwati, Cambodia Academic of Digital Technology, as a chair who is going to be moderate this second session, and followed by the keynote speaker, Mr. Rotana Lee, Cambodia Academic of Digital Technology. So he will uh, present the title, An AI-Based Crop Recommendation System Through Disease Detec Detection. Please welcome. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Uh, so I am uh, Rotanali, and I'm from Institute of Digital Research and Innovation from Cambodia Academy of Digital Technology. So today I will present my topic on uh, an AI-based crop recommendation system through disease detection. So as we can see that based on the Food and Agriculture Organization statistic on 2023, agriculture accounts for more than 22% of the Cambodian GDP in 2022. However, there are still some challenges in uh, the agricultural sector, including the low productivity and quality of the farm products. Further, we can see that there's lack of uh, knowledge and technical skills for our farmer as well. And particularly, we can see that there's uh, insufficient uh, research and development in this sector. So our goal is to modernize the agriculture sector towards a digital transformation by using the AI technology. And this is to align with the government policy to, uh, for the digitalization in agricultural sector as well. So what is the problem uh, in the current agricultural sector in Cambodia? First, we can see that the crop disease uh, caused a significant damage and as well as the direct loss to the agricultural products. We can see that the infectious plant disease caused by the bacteria, fungi, or virus as shown in the figure here are the example of the, this uh, cause of the uh, damage or the loss to the agricultural products. So this will lead to the leaf or the fruit damage to that. And for the farmer, they feel uh, difficult to identify those uh, variants of the plant disease as well. And the treatment is also uh, unknown and no clear instruction for the treatments. Therefore, we come up with the proposed solution on uh, building a plant disease detection system uh, with the treatment recommendations for the farmers. So we have uh, two main goals. The first one is to develop an AI application by using the machine learning algorithms in order to, to detect the disease of the common crops in Cambodia. And after we uh, have this application and then identify the disease. Later, we will also provide recommendations treatments to the farmers so they can uh, use the solution based on our recommendation in order to save the plants as well as to increase the production of the crop harvest as well. So why we need uh, this system? Because uh, plants and crop diseases are geographically specific due to the weather and location, etc. Therefore, the developed system must be adapted to the local context, including the language, the crops, this is as well as the treat treatment as well. So here's our, uh, our proposed uh, methods. So in order to successfully build this system, uh, several stages are ident identified as shown in the uh, slide. So the first one is the most essential part of the project, is the data collection. So without data, we cannot do anything. So for the data collection, we will collaborate with the local agronomy expert in order to identify and categorize the various types of the plant disease. So there will be a need for a field visit in order to collect those data, as well as the uh, data from the experts as well. And secondly, we have to develop a treatment uh, database as well based on the crop disease that we identify. So we will uh, develop the treatment database in order to provide these recommendations to our farmers so they can uh, have the effective treatments to uh, solve those uh, problems. And the next step is the data cleaning and pre-processing. So after the data collections, we will uh, perform the, the data cleaning as well as the labeling of those data for the ML or uh, machine learning models training. So after we have the model, we can go to the next step by development of uh, machine learning models. So we will select uh, the state-of-the-art machine learning algorithm 
and then train the model based on those uh, data collected for the plant disease detection as well as the uh, recommendation system. So last stage, we will uh, develop a prototype of the moda mobile application in order to test uh, whether we can uh, perform the disease de detection and treatments correctly. So here's the implementation of uh, our project. As uh, mentioned earlier, the first and important stage is the data collection, which is including the field visit as well. And the second stage is the data pre-processing, including the data cleaning as well as the data labeling. So after this stage, we will obtain two uh, data sets. The first one is the plan. This is data sets based on the data collections that we have done. And the next one is the, as well, uh, is the disease treatment database. So basically, we will obtain these uh, two data sets after this stage. And we will uh, need the help from the agronomy expert as well in order to have uh, these kinds of database for our uh, machine learning or AI algorithm training. So after that, we will move to the next step, which is the technical part, the classification model development. So we will select the state-of-the-art algorithm for the development of the uh, machine learning model for disease detection as well as the crop recommendation. And lastly, it will come with the uh, mobile application part. So we will develop a mobile application in order to uh, implement the disease detection as well as the crop recommendation. So after the mobile app development, we will release to let the farmer use the app application, and we also conduct some workshops as well as training to the farmers so they can know how to use uh, the mod mobile application in order to detect the uh, disease when this uh, disease happened in their farm, as well as uh, how to use the uh, recommendation that we provide to cure those uh, diseases. So this is basically the whole picture of the uh, project implementation. And here's the process of uh, our applications. So first of all, we will uh, use the mobile in order to capture the image from the farm in order to see, to see whether there's some problems on the leaf or on the plant. And then we will pass through the classification model in order to identify whether the plants or the leaf uh, is healthy or it is an inf infected plant. And if uh, we found that it is the in infected plant, then we will provide the treatment recommendation based on the disease treatment database that we have in the system. So here is the uh, whole process of uh, the mobile application. So basically, the outcome of uh, our project, there will be uh, three. So the first one is the plant disease data set based on the data collection from the field visit. So we can use this data set as the baseline data set for further research in the agricultural sector, particularly on the disease detect detection. And the second one is the treatment database. So uh, we will collect the possi possible treatment methods to those uh, infected uh, disease as well. So this can be used for the further research as well as the further study in the agricultural sector as well. And lastly, we will uh, develop an, uh, a mobile application. So farmers are able to use this application to detect the plant disease in their farm with the recommendations given for proper treatments. So based on the recommendation, they can uh, provide the proper treatment to their uh, plant in order to save their plants as well as to increase their crop production. So here are the outcome of uh, our project. And next, uh, we will talk about the impacts of uh, this project. So the first impact is to help the farmers to properly ident identify the plant disease. And after they uh, can uh, properly identify the plant disease on their farm, then they can also obtain the effective treatment uh, based on our recommendation. So they can reduce the risk and as well as to increase the crop production as well. So this is the first impact. And after that, we also uh, help the farmer particularly uh, for the farmers in the underserved uh, regions and farmers in the vulnerable groups. So they can, uh, based on the, this uh, application, they can uh, increase their income and as well as to reduce the poverty rate through the advanced uh, agricultural technology. So with the help of technology, they can uh, reduce the risk in their farm and as well as to increase their crop production as well as the income. And the third one is to improve the food safety and security. So 
in this case, uh, in, when we can uh, detect the disease earlier, then we can prevent the spread of the disease to other farms as well. So this is also can uh, improve the food safety and security in the region and, in, and to reduce uh, some risk in the neighboring region as well. So this is the third impact. And the next one is the possibility to build a platform to connect farmers and sellers as well. So by using this uh, application, then uh, we can match between the fertilizer and crop markets with the farmer as well, so they can uh, know uh, how to cure, how to properly, uh, how to have the properly uh, treatment for their plant disease. And then the fertilizer and crop markets can also provide some uh, materials or treatments in this uh, platform as well in order to connect uh, these two parties together to uh, have a better uh, uh, crop production in the farm field. And lastly, there's also the possibility to collaborate with countries within the region as well. So by co collaborating with the countries within the region, within the ASEAN particularly, uh, for the, re the countries with the, like the agricultural uh, activities, we can learn about the best practice from them, as well as we can also uh, share the common data and use case in uh, the agriculture as well. So we can, uh, collect the data and as well as to compare the data and we also can share the treatment methodology whether there's some common treatments or the treatments that uh, we can uh, use together in order to cure those uh, uh, plant diseases. Okay, so for the conclusion, uh, by doing these projects, farmers are able to use a tool that we have uh, provided by using the ICT technology, particularly on the AI as well as the machine learning in order to uh, identify the plan uh, disease. And after that, we can uh, use the provided recommendation for the treatments in order to combat the crop disease in their farm field. And the second one is that farmers are able to enhance their digital skill and literacy related to crop management as well. So they are able to start to use the ITC skill in order to help their agricultural activities in their farm. And lastly, we hope that this project will bring the innovative solutions in agricultural, in agricultural sector by using the ICT technology. So we will uh, ensure a more secure and resilient agricultural economy system in Cambodia as well as in the region as well. Okay, so here's uh, the reference. And thank you very much for your attention. Hello, hello. Thank you very much, Dr. Ratana, for your insightful presentation on the proposal. We have, uh, you have uh, finished the presentation ahead of time, yeah. right? two or four minutes, uh, two minutes and a half. So now I would like to open the floor to, uh, for the question. Yes, uh, at the back, please. Oh. Thank you. I, I want to get uh, two more information. One is that uh, how the farmer do the identification of the leaf, for example. Are they using their own, uh, what's call it, a mobile, or you have to provide the farmer a special uh, detector to check the color because different color may, you know, uh, different color may may give different answer, you know, a different color of the disease. Number two is that your applications application is in the in the farmer's hand, or it is the the or it is in a server out there in the cloud, for example, that do the, the, the identification and give the farmer how to, uh, to improve the disease problem. Thank you. Thank you for the questions. So for the first question, actually we will allow the farmer to use their own mobile application for capture the image, so it is more convenient and easy for them as well. And for the second question, uh, the application is based on the cloud as well, so we will uh, not install directly in, like the farmers can uh, download and install in the application, but all the data will be processed on the cloud, yes. Do I answer your question? I think there's a question regarding the image of the color, that it could be quite similar, how you differentiate, if I may uh, paraphrase it right, yeah. Yes, I think this will be one challenge uh, of uh, our project as well. But because when the image quality is uh, different, then the like the outcome or the results will be different as well. But we will uh, try to minimize 
like the, the model so that the model can learn better on the detection task. So we will use uh, some technology by using such as the data augmentation in order to provide more data for the models to learn better on the low quality image as well. So because uh, it based, like actually it's based on the like farmer's ability to like to purchase the uh, mobile phone with high quality image or something else, but we will find the, the way that uh, like when we have the acceptable quality of the image, then the model can process well as well in this case. Thank you. Hi, good morning. I am Rodessa from Abuwa Malayan Colleges, Mindanao of the Philippines. I have several questions. First is, uh, is, are you planning to implement this on a specific region where there's a specific weather condition? Because my next question would be, uh, have you identified several common crops only and its specific diseases because I noticed that there's no mention of specific plants or types of crops because I think and I believe it's gonna be too hard if you'll take everything especially if you plan on um, suggesting treatments yes okay thank you for your question and concern Actually, we are working with the local NGO as well for the, like the selected farm. So we will uh, work with them. And now uh, the farm is based on the Simbri province in Cambodia. And for the crops, we do not choose all the crops as well. So we will choose the common crops based on the region. For example, in that region, uh, what is the common crops that the farmers always plant, such as the cucumber, the tomatoes, or something else. So we will select only a uh, few or uh, several crops as well in order to uh, to work at the first stage because we cannot work with all the crops and plants. So we will select some crops and then we will identify the disease based on each crop as well. So this is the first stage and whether we can um, like have a larger scale on the model, we will uh, work on other like the, the crops as well as the plant as well. This is, this is, this is for the next step, yes. Maybe we can talk about collaboration later because we also have almost similar study, but we're doing it on durian and a specific plant, uh, canker disease of durian too. Yes, I think it's good as well as we can identify the, like the common crops yeah. that we and grow the disease together. also. Yes, yes, I think it's good as well. Thank mm. you. Yes, thank you. I think I have one there. Oh, okay, uh, you first and then. <laughs> Hi, uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, I just need clarification on the, the treatment that you provide to the farmers. Uh, in what form is it provided? Uh, is it a step-by-step -step guideline? And the second question is, uh, how do you ensure that the farmers are able to you know, conduct, uh, perform the treatment recommended by the system? Yes, thank you for the question. Uh, for the treatment, we will provide such as the guideline, guideline for them, such as uh, what materials are the the something that they have to buy for the the human or the treatment and then we will just provide them the guideline however after the app development we will also conduct the workshop as well as training for them and after that we will regularly go to their farm in order to check the quality of the crops after they're using the app whether this will this is uh, useful for them and they'll have they have uh, do it properly or not Yes, so this is the step that we will, we will also have the following up step with them as well. Yes. Okay, so I, I think uh, there's, there's any more questions. <laughs> uh, over there. <laughs> Actually, my question is quite uh, similar to, to, to her because i um, thinking about the focus plan because you are not mentioned which type of the, the plan. And the, the plan like have different type of leaf. For example, the right, uh, the, the right field, the petal field have like, uh, the, the small leaf, but the durian field have another kind of leaf. So I just uh, want to know about uh, your focus plan because if you said uh, general or common, it's quite difficult to identify. And also, um, 
uh, for your classification, you, you don't classification whether we type of the effect, like yeah, bacteria, fungi, or virus, but you just identify whether it is um, infect or not. So I still wonder about how to uh, determine the, the treatment and also what is your coverage of the treatment data highlight like that. So I just concerned about is we be quite last and too much variety. Just 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 uh, to yes. remind and concern. Yes, thank you for your concern. Actually because I'm from the AI field as well so I don't have many knowledge on the agricultural sector. That's why we need to find the agroeconomic experts in order to identify those common crops because we have to go to the field in order to identify the crops, the common crops within the region as well. So I cannot like identify by myself, so we have to work with the agricultural expert in order to identify those, uh, like the common crops as well as the treatments. So we will discuss the whole process with the agricultural expert first in order to have a more details on the implementation. So here's just the overall plan, that's why it looked like a bit like, like very, uh, like very general. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rodana, for your to time. And for now, I would like to invite the next speaker, uh, Mei Huang Nguyen Huang from uh, Dong Tap Library, Vietnam, to present the proposal entitled Forward Sales Using Product Traceability Software and Digital Marketing, a case study of mango in Dong Thap province, Vietnam. Please okay. welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Sabadi, Ohio, Gordon Mas, but as you have I just know just two sentences. Uh, good morning. <laughs> I'm Fung from Vietnam, and I want to share with all of you our project that a forward sell, but we use product uh, traceability software and digital marketing. Uh, to apply for uh, uh, farmers uh, in the Dong Thap, especially for uh, mango farmers. Uh, first of all, I want to give for a few the overview of our situation. Uh, we apply for the Mi Sương commute uh, in Dong Thap province. And the Dong Thap was in, uh, is located in the Mekong Delta. Uh, you know, recently uh, Vietnam uh, developed the fruit in industry uh, because uh, to adapt with climate change and to meet uh, the market demand uh, and the mango uh, grow uh, so many provinces but Dom Thap is one of the most uh, mango production areas in, in Vietnam. And you can see that it's uh, more than 40,000 hectares uh, of mango production. And uh, accounting for uh, a fifth of total fruit free area in this province. And uh, uh, mango has many variety, for example, kakju or hoa lop or among others. But we uh, focus on kachu. You can see the uh, value chain in Mekong Delta, but I, I think Dong Thap has uh, the same pattern. And uh, okay, okay. Uh, you, you can see that the farmers, when they produce a uh, mango, they sell just 1% to lo uh, local retailer and most to the collector uh, for about 71%, uh, even a little bit about 10% to cooperative or farmer groups. But you, you see that even they sell to cooperative farmer group, both farmers and farmers organization cannot reach to the uh, final customer. They have many in me digits actors in the value chain. Uh, therefore, a uh, farmer just get, uh, uh, achieve the less benefit in the uh, value chain. So we uh, propose a 
the the project to um to uh, solve this target. The first, the farmer income not only improve their income but also uh, improve their in farmers' income by they we we cut down the immediate actors that farmer can sell directly to the customer. Secondly, they diversify uh, farmers' income, uh, not only from production, from wholesale as they do traditionally, but direct sale to the farmers and even tourism when uh, customer or tourists visit their farm. And uh, especially, uh, stabilize their income by uh, they can sell their product in advance even the mango was not uh, harvested yet and uh, with this action they can um, minimize the market price fluctuations and the second arm is about uh, market understanding or market insight because farmers just sell their product to uh, collectors or for a company and they don't know uh, what the final customer want. So this is a chance for them to talk with them directly to understand their need. And the final one is uh, a technical technology adoption. Uh, we use the tools quite simple this digital technology that is product uh, traceability and digital mar marketing because it's quite low cost and easy to use. Uh, and I see the project called the mango tree, uh, my mango tree. Uh, this is the process. Uh, first one, uh, we select and evaluate mango tree. Uh, after that, we cut each tree with a number and uh, post the mango trees information on our website. Uh, and when the customer uh, set this website and then can, can they choose which one they want to buy and contact to the um, cooperative and make a payment, then, uh, then farmers and cooperative place their custom tag name on the mango tree and they, the cooperative and farmers continue update information about the image or production activities on the software and, and then announce what time is uh, harvest. And uh, customer can choose two options. One, cooperative can uh, deliver mango to their house or the customer can come to uh, the farming and to see, oh, we see my tree and they can harvest the mango themselves uh, by tourist, uh, tourism activity and managed by a cooperative and farmer club uh, and implemented by a cooperative. Uh, for uh, some of you might don't know uh, what is cooperative. Uh, okay, uh, cooperative, uh, the definition uh, cooperative is an uh, uh, international cooperative alliance is that it's an autonomous uh, association of persons who uh, gather together voluntarily uh, to meet their, their common needs, for example, economic, social, or cultural needs uh, in terms of an uh, enterprise this is an enterprise is uh, jointly owned and democratically uh, controlled by farmer themselves, and uh, the cooperative they have the legal entity they can sign the contract, but the farmer club is not. It's just a s association of farmers gathered together, sharing and exchange experience and update market information. Uh, Farmer Club is also a platform for a, a government, for a union, for example, farmers union or women union, uh, youth union gather together to discuss and so on their uh, economic 
a social problem. And to, to press this model uh, for many potential customers, uh, digital marketing, for example, uh, video clips, uh, social media like Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram, uh, and picture is used. Uh, we we, we uh, uh, choose the software that available on the market with uh, suitable, affordable uh, price. And uh, this is the website. The customer can see uh, and choose which tree they want to buy with information of farmer's name, contact, and information of the mango tree, for example, the variety, age, uh, identification code, and selling price, uh, the ownership period. Uh, normally, it's uh, last one year. And the image of the mango, uh, you can scan this code, and the, uh, the screen will appear over there. Uh, the customer can, uh, that if customer allow uh, that the software track their position and the customer can know, okay, I'm living in Ho Chi Minh City and then uh, the farmer in Dong Tha province and the software show the uh, distance. Uh, also, some images, the, the date, activity that uh, farmers do or uh, some information about input like uh, fertilizer or pesticide. Uh, the farmers, when they uh, harvest the mango, they will pack in the box and deliver to the customer like this with a, a letter of thank you from the cooperative and farmers. Okay. Uh, beside that, b because the customer can choose two options, uh, deliver to them, or they will go to the farming to see their tree, for example, over there, uh, or they can do the uh, buy tour around the commute. Uh, actually, at the moment, just for household, uh, join this uh, model and uh, from the farmers to uh, the uh, farm stay and uh, a worship house uh, to uh, explore the history of this uh, area and also enjoy traditional food. Okay, uh, about the outcome, uh, we, want, uh, we, we expect to get to outcome to key outcome uh, that uh, the first one is to uh, establish a new agriculture business model that we combine uh, the product traceability software and digital marketing using ICT uh, to which is a low cost and easy to use uh, for farmers in Dong Thap. And the second outcome is uh, we uh, mo mobilize uh, the local resources and also uh, the support from outside. For example, you can see the picture here. A Minh Tam Farmer Club with the elderly person. Uh, he is the chairman of the farmer club. And uh, with Dong Thap Library, Dong Thap Library is uh, art a uh, information center. Uh, they can, uh, Dong Thap Library can provide information for farmers, for example, update the uh, market information or uh, some material how to grow mango uh, organic, for example. And Dong Thap also connect uh, experts from many fields, for example, digital market or digital technology or from uh, agriculture economics first. And the, the commune, uh, people committee can support this model by a policy, policy that support and encourage uh, this model. They also uh, help with human resources be, be, 
because in the uh, in Mekong Delta, so many farmers, young farmers, go to the city, work for, in the factories, and uh, in rural, they are all uh, elderly person. So, uh, community can help with uh, young generation to do uh, this digital activity, and uh, we gather together monthly at a farmer's house and with through a protational basic. Uh, with this model, uh, again, we target to improve a farmer income and have farmer understand the market uh, demand uh, and uh, have the farmer adopt technology uh, and the, the idea is to create a new model that using ICT, uh, which we choose the first one that uh, product traceability software and digital marketing, which is low cost and easy to use. Uh, for the impact of uh, scientific and uh, society, uh, it gathers so many resources from the inside and the outside to uh, scale up this model. And that's all for uh, my presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Phuong Yu Yen Hong from Donghap Library. Now I would like to open the floor for the question. We have more than five minutes to go. Is there anyone would like to ask a question? Uh, please raise your hand. We would bring the microphone to you. While waiting to, from the question from the floor, I have a question that you, you have in Vietnam 14,000 hectares of mango. How do you plan to put all the QR code in, in all the trees? Uh, uh, because it's the model that we combined uh, traceability, uh, product traceability with tourism. So we don't put on the, uh, the code, the to own the uh, mango for uh, for uh, forty uh, thousand hectare, uh, you you can see that because this is value chain, we can sold on the product uh, volume with this kind of model. We just sold uh, some some percentage of our product. Uh, but beside this model, Dong Tap want to uh, develop digital transformation for the Han province. And they uh, establish a center for digital transformation and uh, combine so many technology and so many purpose. For example, uh, they, they can um, measure the uh, river level or the temperatures, or mango, or rice, for example, combined together. But it's the whole big project, and I, I don't know uh, very well. Uh. Oh, you have one yeah. question from? Uh, from I uh, looking to your slide, it seems that your model is already complete. So, which part that you require to ask from your corporation? I mean, you, now is you are looking for corporate. So, the part that you're looking co for corporate, what is for that? That for is like a farm to install your system or some kind of which part? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, actually, it's not finished. It's ongoing. Uh, because it's just for household shown to the tourism activity and just uh, uh, less than five farmers shown to the uh, product traceability software to sell the uh, my mango tree. Uh, we, we are now scaled up and uh, as you can see in the picture, the cooperation actually in, uh, in the commute and in the province, uh, we use the software or uh, digital technology that available on the market. We don't develop any. Uh, so uh, the purpose of 
my presentation is so that uh, if we use the technology, techno uh, digital technology, and uh, we see, uh, we understand well the situation of local area and combine the technical with the local contact, we can create uh, a new model. Yeah, this, this is my idea about this presentation. Because technology is also technology. We can, we, we, I think we must understand the local context and combine the technology with that to create a new one to suitable for the new, maybe post-COVID for something like that. All right, thank you. We still have one, one more minute to go, so I would allow for one last question, if you have any. Oh, yeah. you have uh, one point. Um, for, for my understanding, you use the commercial software. So in case that we use the software uh, outside Vietnam, it is okay, it applicable? Um, as the user, uh, as the user uh, we evaluate which software is the best, for example, uh, easy to use or the cost, etc. But I think uh, for the view of um, Vietnam government or something like that. The data is very sensitive and they will consider uh, that data from um, company inside or outside our country or the server uh, is located, yeah, in two terms. Okay, Chai uh, and Arigato to yeah, everyone. I would like to uh, end the session now. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you.